Judge Judy blasts Alvin Bragg for ignoring real NYC crimes while prosecuting Trump nonsense. Hey buddy, welcome to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are so well, so let's begin. Judge Judy renders verdict on NY of the Trump case. Nonsense. Judge Judy Sheenland has delivered a verdict on Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's successful prosecution of former President Trump, calling the case nonsense. The famous TV arbiter told CNN host Chris Wallace that as a taxpayer in this country, she resents Bragg for using the system for your own personal self-aggrandizement. And that's what you think the DA did in Manhattan, Wallace asked in an interview that streamed Friday on Max. That's what I think. I mean, if you look, you had to twist yourself into a pretzel to figure out what the crime was, said Sheen Lin. A jury convicted former President Trump last month on all 34 felony counts of falsifying business records during his 2016 campaign to conceal a 130000 payment to Stormy Daniels a pornographic performer, to silence her about an alleged affair with Trump in 2006. I would be happier, as someone who owns property in Manhattan, if the district attorney of New York County would take care of criminals who were making it impossible for citizens to walk in the streets and use the subway, to use his efforts to keep those people off the street, than to spend $5 million or $10 million of taxpayers' money trying Donald Trump on this nonsense, Sheenland told Wallace. Television personality Judge Judy Sheenland has ignited controversy on social media with her recent comments about Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and former President Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial. In an interview with CNN's Chris Wallace for his series Who's Talking to Chris Wallace, Shandlin, a former family court judge who moved into television in 1996, where her hit courtroom show Judge Judy ran for 25 seasons, offered a critique of Bragg's prosecution of Trump, while also sharing her thoughts on Trump's presidency. Shanlin, known for her sharp tongue judgments on her courtroom show, didn't hold back when discussing the charges brought against Trump by Bragg's office. She dismissed the case as nonsense, a statement that has since drawn criticism from Trump's detractors. I would be happier as someone who owns property in Manhattan if the district attorney of New York County would take care of criminals who were making it impossible for citizens to walk in the streets and use the subway, to use his efforts to keep those people off the street that has spent $5 million or $10 million of taxpayers' money trying Donald Trump on this nonsense, Sheenland told Wallace. Late last month, a New York jury found Trump, the presumptive GOP presidential nominee, guilty on 34 counts of falsifying business records relating to a hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels shortly before the 2016 presidential election. Daniels alleges she had a sexual encounter with Trump in 2006, which he denies. Trump has maintained his innocence and says the case is politically motivated. His legal team pledged to fight the verdict and appeal the case if necessary. Sheenland's comments have sparked outrage among Trump critics on social media, with some arguing that her dismissal of the charges undermines the work of prosecutors and investigators involved in the case. Ryan Shedd, veteran commentator and host of the Hold the Mic podcast, wrote on X, formerly Twitter, on Friday, when E.V. or irony around someone like Trump starts going to prison for covering for him, that person is likely guilty to. Judy also just sh asterisk asterisk on the judicial system and jury that convicted Trump on all counts. They seem to come to their conclusion quickly. Ex-user Art Candy also mocked Sheenland's comments about safety concerns in New York City. Judge Judy appears to be parroting Fox News' Maria Bartiromo's irrational fear that people can walk down the street in New York or take the subway as a reason to support Donald Trump. Utter paranoia from people who never even take